Hi there, this is Darren O'Neill from Darren's Tech Tutorials and DarrenO'Neill.eu. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to create a CentOS 7 EC2 instance on AWS. So we're just going to get started here. So I'm logged into my AWS console. So in order to get this point, just log in. So I'm going to come up here and I want to click on services and I want to click on EC2. Okay, so this will load up here for us now. And what I'm going to do is I want to click the big launch instance button. So you see here we have uh, a few options, but I'm going to click on the AWS Marketplace and I'm going to search up here for CentOS and I'm just going to hit return. And I'm just going to select this top one here with the CentOS 7. So I'm going to click select and I'm just going to click continue here. And I'm going to select the micro one because it's free tier eligible. And I'm going to click next to configure instant details. And the one change I'm going to make here is I'm just going to enable it to have an auto assign public IP. I'm going to leave all these as the defaults. I'm going to click next to add storage. And I'm just going to leave all this again. I'm going to click next to add tags. I'm just not going to add anything. I'm just going to click next to configure security groups. So you can see here we have port uh, 22 open from everywhere. AWS will give out because this isn't best practice. But since this is a test video, we're just going to continue here. So I want to click review and launch. Okay, so we're getting kind of a breakdown here of what we're setting up. So I'm now going to click the launch button. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new key pair. And I'm just going to call it Darren CentOS. And I'm going to click to download this key pair. Perfect, we can see it's downloaded here. And I'm going to click to launch my instance. Okay, so this will take just a second here and the instance should begin to launch. Okay, great. So we can see your instance are now launching. So let's just click this link here. And we can see it's in a launch status at the moment. Okay, great. We can see now this has gone to running. So we just need to do one more step so we can connect to our machine. So I have putty gen here. So let me just drag this across so we can see. I'll leave um, a page where you can get all the links if you need to download putty gen. And um, you'll be able just to grab those links so you can install it on your machine. So I'm going to click to load an existing private key. So I'm going to click load here. And I'm just going to go to my downloads. And I'm just going to say all files. And here we can see Darren sent us PEM. So let me just click open on this. Okay, and we've imported it here. And I'm going to click to save the private key. So yeah, I'm going to save it without a passphrase. I'm going to click yes. And I'm just going to, let's just call it Darren sent us. And just for ease, I'm just going to call it 01. And I'm going to click save. Okay, let me close this here. So now I'm going to open up Putty, normal Putty. And again, I'll leave links where you can get these. So let me just drag this in. So we can see our public IP address here is 18.130.46.240. And I'm going to come down here. I'm going to expand SSH. I'm going to expand auth. I'm just going to click on it. And I'm going to click on browse. And I'm going to select Darren uh, sent 01. I'm going to open this. I'm going to click open. Okay, I'm just going to click yes here. And the default username on these instances is sent us. So I'll type in sent us. And there, we're in. That's it. We've now authenticated into our CentOS 7 machine on AWS. That's how easy it is and how quickly it is to get up and running. Um, if you encountered any issues while following, please do comment below. And if I can help, I certainly will. And thank you for watching.